I think I'm gonna be a while. What? Wait, this meeting is not over. You are coming back, right? Maybe, maybe not. What? You know, did it again. I, I don't know who you are. You're that past that reverend that didn't have enough time for my sister. Maybe I just don't have what it takes to pastor anymore. Ms. Malone is a child of God in need, and it's my duty as a deacon to care for her first. Derek, we have got a problem, and this thing cannot be ignored. Come on, baby. When is the right time? We need to pick a time and a date, and we need to let the whole church know. Look, I never said we were going to get married, okay? I never used those words. can only see you in those oh mighty woman of the most high Ooh, ain't they beauts honey and i guarantee you i'm gonna wear them in the pulpit one day just for deacon hall <laughs> you're gonna send that man to an early grave i know but ain't it fun <laughs> Mercy. oh my goodness so tell me what you're studying boy talk about going from the silly to the sublime my favorite the presence of god I was looking at Exodus 34 where Moses' face shone because he'd been in the presence of God. And I got all excited because I looked up the word shone and it means a shining forth of light. Makes me think of Jesus, yeah. the light of the world. Yeah. you're in the Old Testament. But the Old Testament, the fact that it's in the Old Testament makes me think of the eternal nature of God. In other words, he was, he always was, he is, and he always will be. Preach it, sister. Ooh, Woo, yeah. Woo, yes. Get me excited. But we do see the same definition in the New Testament in the account of Peter's shadow. That word shadow means an effulgence. It means a shining forth of light. And the only light that would have carried the kind of power necessary to heal all those people was Christ. Well, all together now. <laughs> this, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> You and I better keep our day job, that's all I know. Not our area of anointing. But you know, as excited as I got about that, my heart kind of hurt when I realized that that same light, Maddie, ought to be shining out of all of us a lot. Well, why don't we see it? Well, I think we do, sporadically. I've seen it a few times, but mostly it's when the power of God is all over that person. Well, what makes that happen? Well, I guess I can think of three things. One, and always, worship. You know, when you see folks that are in that third heaven worship, the light whew, shines right off of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Intercessory prayer. Folks, when they're in deep, deep intercessory prayer and you look at their face, you can just see light, light. And then from my own experience, I guess, probably obedience. And I say that because I remember that when my dad died, girl, you know what it's like, a girl loses her daddy. I felt like my heart was being ripped right out of my chest. Mm, I'm sure. That's true. Oh, yeah. But before he died, even before I knew he was gonna die, the Lord spoke to me and said that I was gonna be preaching his funeral message because there were gonna be people there who that would be the last time they heard the gospel message before it was their time to pass on. Oh my word, no pressure there. Mm -hmm. How did mm -hmm. you handle it? Only way I knew how to handle it. I just locked myself in. I would not allow myself to be sidetracked by 
anything. Now that didn't mean I didn't have to talk to people, but in here, in my mind, mm -mm, I was locked in, focusing on one thing and one thing only, and that was the message the Lord was giving me for those people. You're kidding. Mm -mm. Even the morning of the service, I wouldn't let anything sidetrack me, not even when they rolled my daddy's casket in in front of me, not even when my mama came in. And, you know, she lived another 26 years, but that morning she was old and broken, bent over. You know, there was confusion all over her face, tears coming down, but I couldn't let anything, Maddie, sidetrack me. So there was this massive cross hanging from the ceiling over the altar. And I just put my eyes on it. And I would not take my eyes off of that until I reached the platform. Mm. It makes me want to cry. Mm. It was hard. Mm. Yeah. So where did this light come in? Ah, the next day, a woman came to mom's house just wanted to check on her, see how she was. And mom said, well, what'd you think of her message? And the woman came back and said, well, I only got bits and pieces of it because I kept looking at this light that was all around her. Really? Yes. Wow. Maddie, if there is anybody that knows me, it's you. And you know I am one imperfect vessel. Alligator <laughs> slips and all, you know? <laughs> But you also know that I love God with my whole heart and I will do whatever he instructs me to do. But that day, it took every ounce of the Spirit of Christ that was in me to rise up to give me the ability to accomplish the assignment I'd been given. And I humbly believe that he manifested himself in all his mercy, his grace, his power, and yes, even I think his delight in that light. That's pretty humbling. You think? Well, anyway, I'm gonna meet with the leaders of the church this afternoon and that's gonna be my focus. That we, especially as leaders, have to become seekers of his presence because that's the only way that that same light is gonna shine out of all of us and the accompanying power will flow from us. Well, I'm going to be praying. Ooh, and I'm going to depend on it. And Lynn, leave the slippers home. Not, don't go <laughs> dissing my slippers. You don't know how much effort I put into finding those things. Those fine slippers, girl. You are something else. <laughs>《Oh, honey, I understand that. Sure. All right, how about uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning? You betcha. All right. Lord bless. See you then. Bye. Well, good afternoon, saints. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Where are the halls? Oh, they had to run their car into the shop, so they're going to be a bit late, and the rain doesn't help any either. Hey, well, Lord bless it that there be nothing terribly wrong. In Jesus' name. Mm. Deacon Raglan, you want to start us off in prayer? Certainly. Bow heads. Father, our prayer is simple. Please be in our midst and let everything be done according to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, this, I wanted to really talk to us seriously about something that I think is such a desperate need for the church, yes, but mm -hmm. especially for us as leaders, mm -hmm. and that is we must become seekers of God's presence. Mm -hmm. Now, why is that so important? Because in his presence, there's power, and that power is needed to do everything that he's called us to do. Yes. Yes, Deke, I tell you, get to the point, you just read my mail all the time, and you are so right. With his presence comes his power. Lord, I'm getting those goosebumps again. Well, hold the bumps, Mama, because I've got to warn you. Once we commit to taking this journey, it's going to seem like half the hordes from you know where are coming after us. You know she's right.
you know, without the power, you know, we're no threat to the enemy. But the moment the enemy senses power, that's when the battle begins. Exactly. But with the Holy Ghost comes the power and the wisdom that we need to do everything that he's called us to do. And to win. Amen. Amen. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking we start now and we start simply. <laughs> you know that's going to take a miracle, right? I'm talking about the kind of miracle, parting the Red Sea type of miracle. But I believe in miracles. Me too. You know, come on, I, I just got to be up front with you. I have been in so many services where I walked into the sanctuary, and honest to Pete, I thought I'd just walked into a Friday night social. Only thing missing was the Coke and the tater chips. <laughs> and then I have walked into a few mm, where everybody sat in silent prayer and meditation, sincerely preparing themselves before the Lord. And in the midst of that atmosphere, there was such a sense of reverence for God. You know that arrow hit home? You know why? Why? Because my congregation usually takes that time to catch up on the latest gossip. And then there's that. And I think that's a good place to start. We start out with silent prayer and meditation, and then we move right on into worship. Just look at my arm. This is definitely a God thing. It's a God thing. Sounds like the halls. I guess they got the car fixed. Praise God, it could have been that serious then. Please, somebody help me. What is it? Please, somebody help me. Please, somebody help me. I need help. I didn't know anywhere else to go. Come here, sit he down. He said he'd kill me. He really will kill me. Have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Who, sweetie? My ex-boyfriend. He's just got a bad temper. He's just really, really mad, that's all. Well, well, listen, where is he now? He got stopped at a red light. But I left my car in the parking lot. I have to go get it before he sees no, it. No, 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 no. Relax, no, relax. No, no, no. Mary, call the police and tell them we need help. We need it now. Okay. Yeah. Deacon Ragan, would you go and guard the back door? Yeah. Let us know if he comes. All right. What's your name? Terry. Terry, we've yes. got the police on the way. Deacon Same Raglan is guarding right that front door. Right and these away. two men we will watch over you. Okay? I need to run down to my office. I'll be back in just a second. But you're safe. Okay. All right. Help me bring this chase in. Is he going to be on the Yes? Well, here it comes. And he moves real fast. Please don't listen Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, listen, this is the house of God. This is unfinished business. Get out of my way. Oh, 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 Wait, oh, Pastor, oh, no. Oh, 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 it's all right, it's all right. You know, I'm well suspecting you got a little bit of a hearing problem because the man just said, this is a house of God. This is a place of peace. Now I think it's best if you just turn and leave. Who do you think you are, witch? You did not just call. Mm. We're going to come at this thing from a different direction. You harmed that child, and you will never get to her without going through me and them. Now turn around and get out. Going through one woman and these old men's not going to be a problem. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, wait a minute. What? Ah, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh, here. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yep, I knew there was a pain in my neck. Now, this is old Bertha, but I want to be real honest with you. Bertha, she got a real bad temper, and you never know what old Bertha is going to do. Now turn and get out of here. This woman's crazy, man. 
I could have told you that. Stop it. Mary? Are the police on their way? Yes, they're sending a couple of cruisers, but they said it's going to be a while. Well, we're just going to have to try something different. Now, Mr. Ex-Boyfriend, I got a real busy day today, and frankly, you done ticked me off. So, Pastor, Deacons, can I go ahead and just shoot him? Hey, wait, Pastor. You know what? You should just leave now. This isn't finished, Terry. I'm going to find you, and it's not going to be pretty. What the? Oh, laddie, you'll be wearing this prison garb if you don't quit sucking the nice lady. Nobody touches my bike. Get off or get hurt. And by the way, laddie, if you best not be going back in there, because if you do next time, she may be packing the real thing. What? I see that look in your eye. But if you go back in there, the police will get you for sure. And their guns are the real thing. Oh my, there's no time to tell you about the savior now. But I'll be visiting your prison real soon. <laughs> Pastor Lynn, I was so scared for you. I thought you were gonna shoot that man. Are you all right? <laughs> I will be as soon as my heartbeat gets back to normal. Pastor Lynn, were you really going to shoot him? And when did you start packing heat? Oh, Deacon Hall. Deacon Hall. Yes. Oh, water gun. Now I'm going to have the big one. <laughs> oh, how I love this church. And I'm going to find a new one. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The police are here. Sergeant, where the rest of you? Budget cuts. What can I say? Billy? Is that you? Pastor Lynn. Hey. It's been ages since I've seen yeah. this. So what's going on? And what's with the gun? The officer, the man that beat this child, came in here to finish the job. And Pastor Lynn, she was just trying to protect her. That's really? right. Really? With a water pistol. So why am I not surprised? And you, you could have been killed. She could have been killed too. And I guarantee you at that point, my only priority was her protection. And Billy, right now, your only priority is to get out there, find that thug, and toss him in the slammer. All right, let's get some information then. Okay, I got all the information that I need and there's a warrant put out for the guy. Excellent. Okay. And we appreciate you. Okay, no problem. Yes. Hey, officer, is there a battered women's shelter that she could stay the night? There is, but it's always full. Well, why don't they just open up another one? Again, budget cuts. Mm. Wow. Well, looks like another opportunity for the church to come together for the community to fill a need. Let's build another one. This time, faith-based. Oh, yeah. Getting outside of those four walls, isn't that what you're always talking about? Hallelujah. Somebody been listening to me. Yes, I did. And you were right. We have so many traditions that truthfully don't produce any fruit for the kingdom. And this would give us the opportunity to produce some good fruit to those who desperately need the love of Christ. Yes, so goodbye to church anniversaries. Goodbye to Appreciation Day. And goodbye to potluck dinners. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Well, maybe oh, some of them. <laughs> well, and hello to the community coming together. Music to God's ears. Yes. Well, in the meantime, what are we to do with this poor child? That is a good question. What do we do with her? Easy. She'll go home with me. Is that all right with you, Terry? I can't. I left my dog at home. Besides, she's my baby. 
and I'm afraid that he'll hurt her. Well, he's already proven he'll hurt you, and your life is much more important than a dog. But she loves me. Uh, Deacon Hall, I do believe your pup Huckleberry would really enjoy some company. Now wait just a minute. We will be we'll be glad to take care of your pup just until you can sort things out. Okay? Now I'm not gonna be walking around to so, think sofa. And think a no vote on your position as head deacon. Ooh. Thank you, Deacon Mary. I meant Mary. And Mama Scott, you go, girl. Okay, let's back up a bit. Glenn, I don't think it's a good idea for you to take that girl home. From what I remember, you live alone, and it's just not going to be safe. Well, it's not exactly alone. I got five dogs, a yard full of geese, I got a loudmouth macaw, I got a security system, and I got a real Bertha. All right, all right, here's what I'll do. I'll get a hold of a female police officer. I'll take Terry to the hospital, get her checked out, and then we'll take her home to get her dog and a few personal items, and then bring her over to your house. That's a deal. And then, of course, you'll take her dog over to the halls. Nothing ever changes you. You're still a pain. But I'll tell you what, here's my card. If you need to call me, give me a call. That's my cell on there. Be on speed, doll. Okay. All right. Come on. I guess I should thank you. I mean, not everybody would try to do something like this for me. Honey, you are a creation of Almighty God. You are precious to Him. There are no thanks needed. Now listen, bathroom's back there, bedroom's to the right, so why don't you go ahead and get settled in? Okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. We'll see you in just a second. Well, hello, Pistol Pack and Mama. How's it going? Smart Alec. Who blabbed? Gina. And she was just trying to help. In fact, she went ahead and put it out on Facebook for you. She did what? Just kidding. Don't do that. I've almost already had one heart attack today. I don't need another one. Do that. So are you okay? I assure you. This pistol packing pasta is just fine. And before you bring up the subject, we are perfectly safe here. Oh, sure you are. Mm -hmm. I just opened the door and walked right in. And did you lock it behind you? No. Mm -hmm. well, where are those attack poodles of yours? Oh. <laughs> I think they're still down at the lake chasing ducks. Oh, that's really helpful. You're right. <laughs> I so where's your guest? Oh, she's in the back. Maddie, my heart absolutely breaks for her. She has been to Hades and back at the hands of an abuser. And you know how I hate abuse. She has been beaten. She's been bruised. She has zero sense of self-worth. She just needs the help of God's people. Oh, Terry. Come on in, sweetie. Hey. Terry, I'd like you to meet my sometimes best friend, Maddie. Hello. I didn't know you were going to have some guests over. I mean, if there's a problem, I can go back to my room. Nonsense. Come have some tea with us. And I happen to know where Lynn hides the good cookies. And just for you, on the shelf underneath the good cookies, you'll find the dog biscuits. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sakes, it's just Deacon Hall. What are you trying to do? Give us all a heart attack? No. Mary said if I didn't come by and check on you too, she'd change the locks on the house. 
mercy, I do like that woman. Mm. Ladies, are you all okay? Is there anything I can do for you? We're fine, thanks. We're perfectly fine. Pastor Lynn, I'd like to speak to you for a moment if you don't mind. Terry, honey, would you mind going back there and put some fresh sheets on your bed for me? I put a brand new set on the chair next to the bureau. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Now, Pastor Lynn, I know you have good intentions, but Officer Lansky and I talked, and we don't think you realize how dangerous domestic disputes can be. He's right, you know. Whose side are you on? And I do fully understand how dangerous that can be. You forgot I was in corrections for a number of years, but you heard Lansky. There's no place to put her. And if you think for one minute that I had any intention of tossing that young child out in the streets, you're crazy. Wasn't going to happen. Well, can you at least be extremely careful? I will. I will. And ladies, if there's anything that I can do for you, just Well, let now that you mention it, I'm going to stay here until they lock that thug up, but I need to get work done. Therefore, I need to go back to the office and pick up some stuff. Do you mind taking me? Sure, okay. but aren't you concerned about their safety? Honey, <laughs> old Maddie meaner than I am. Look, this is the plan of attack. We'll get the dogs off duck detail. We'll have them lock the door, and we'll have them put in the security code. They'll be fine. All right. <laughs> Okay, I think that'll do it. Lamar, we've got some time. Would you mind if we talked a bit? Sure. Let's see. I just wanted you to know how unbelievably proud I was of you this morning in the sanctuary. Look, I know I'm not your favorite person. I know that. And yet, you were willing to protect me. You were willing to put yourself in harm's way. You didn't know whether he had a knife. You didn't know whether he had a gun. And yet, you were willing to lay your life down for another. That is the character of Christ. That is the character of a leader. Well, I don't know. I, I did it before I even thought about it. That probably means because it's in you. Maybe. Maybe. Look, let me be honest with you. I know you want to be head deacon. I know that. But I have struggled with that thing. I have wrestled with that thing because the truth is, I just didn't feel you were the right person. But what I saw in the sanctuary this morning, <laughs> that gave me such hope. So, let me tell you my thinking. Everybody has to grow and mature. This might even possibly include me. So let me propose this. If you would put your hand in mine and in the hand of the rest of the leaders, and together we would walk down this path to, uh, let's say, in Ephesians 4, kind of maturity, if you'd be willing to do that, then I'd be willing to reconsider your position. What do you think? Lynn, do you know how hard it is for me to change at my age? I'm old, and I'm finally content, and now you're asking me to turn my whole world upside down? Well, I'm not exactly a young chicken anymore. And may I remind you that my hopes and dreams and visions of my retirement would be sitting on my back porch, eating bonbons and sipping ice cold lemonade. But where was I this morning? In the sanctuary in the middle of that mess. 
All I'm asking of you, old man, is would you put your hands in the hand of this old gal and do the same thing you were willing to do this morning, and that is lay your life down, except this time for the purposes and the work of the kingdom. Well, when you put it that way, you must have driven your husband crazy. I did, and I worked real hard at it. <laughs> you know what I'm beginning to think? that underneath all that crusty exterior lies an awesome man of God just waiting to bust out and be used mightily by the Most High. In fact, I'm so sure of it, I'm going to come around there and get myself a hug. Come here and hug me, you old man. <laughs> Oh man, it's that maniac again. Quick, call the police. No, 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 Lamar, no. He's dangerous. Oh, what a good that did me. Officer Lansky, please, and tell him it's an emergency. It's an emergency, he can do that later. Billy, it's Lynn. The guy's back. We have no idea what he's capable of. We need you here, and we need you here now. Okay. We'll be careful. All right. See you. Jerry! I'm back, and I'm not leaving here without you. But she's not here. You think you can hide her from me, old man? Now calm down, my friend. I don't want any trouble. You're not my friend. Well, if you're not my friend, you're not welcome here. You need to leave, please. I'm not leaving without her. Terry! I told you she left with the police. Now, would you please leave? All right. I'm only going to tell you this once. You tell me where they took her, and you won't get hurt. No, I told you! What the? Pastor Lynn? What do you think you're doing? Oh, stop your grumbling and give me your belt. My belt? What's wrong with your belt? Oh, no can, amigo. Elastic. Give me your belt. Oh, I knew I should have found a new church. <sighs> Give me that thing. Oh. Mama, ain't you Harry? You sitting on his legs? I got him. All right, all right. Hold him. Hold him. Oh. Okay, I got him. Knock it off. I got him. You got him? Pastor Lynn, you better not ever tell anyone about this. I'm thinking Facebook, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh. This sure gives a new meaning to the old phrase, caught with your pants down. No. Here, here, smile. Let me give you a picture of this. No. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, okay, that's good, that's good. There goes my last shred of dignity. I know I'll never hear the end of this one. Yeah, but you're always going to be able to say you got to the bottom of this. And you know what? When I tell them about this, this is going to be a must-read at the precinct. And you, you're under arrest. Uh.